Hey guys, it's Faces Sins, and we are back with more Charade Maniacs continuing Yochi's route, and we learned some infer interesting information. Um, and, well, we'll see what happens. Is Iochi a past contestant? Is he just, uh, sorry, are they just here to find their brother? Like, you know, like, what's the deal? What's going on? But, so there's two interesting ways this could go. Again, kind of like I said in the last part, um, they could go the more typical route, something that you would see. Iochi's here to find their lost brother could also be a spy either way you know what i mean but or iochi was that person not it's their brother you know so interesting 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 honestly if i think again i think i'm still on the page of i kind of hope they go the chigasaki route like where chigasaki was pointing out and all that because that's a little more interesting and ties in better with the story than looking for my lost brother, which is just very tropey and stuff like that. I'm sorry, bird. I have to, my bird is with me again, but I have to like adjust because I'm like sliding back in my chair and I'm going to be like freaking really uncomfortable. So I'm like, <laughs> poor bird. Sorry. I know you get fidgety and weird when I move. But anyway, I woke up to the feeling of morning sunlight. My mind felt awake as I came to a decision. <sighs> All right. I will face things head on. Listen, Iochi, I... Ah! And then freaks out because he's actually there, you know. <laughs> when I went into the hallway, I saw Iochi leaving their room. They were probably going downstairs to get breakfast, too. Good morning, Sena. Today... Um, Iochi... I called Iochi's name and interrupted what they were saying. They opened their eyes slightly wider while waiting for my next words. Hold on. Damn, my computer's a pain in the ass with... Not leaving the volume where I fucking said it. Can I take a break from the assistant work today? There's something I want to think about. What's going on? Well, it's something I want to think about alone. Alone? I could sense their suspicion. Yochi probably felt like I wanted to distance myself from them in that moment. Which we kind of do right now. That's, you know, what we need to think. I don't mind at all. But if something's on your mind, we can always talk. Yochi pointed to their room, but it had the opposite effect on me. Thank you. Let's do that another time. I walked past Yochi. It seems strange, but it couldn't be helped. I don't know how Yochi will act if we're alone. Yochi is intelligent, so I need to gather my thoughts before asking anything. Otherwise, I didn't want to think too deeply about it, but I ended up doing so. Things will just go exactly the way Yochi wants. I made my way to the library to check the episode that Chikasaki had told me about. The cast member who shared a name with Yochi looked a lot like them, just as Chikasaki described. But I paused to get a better look when I saw a close-up on the face. Like, you've been very close to Yochi, that's true. I know because I saw Yochi's face up close then. They looked similar, but there were differences. Almond eyes, long eyelashes, thin and shapely lips. They are different people, but the nose and expressions do look similar. Okay, so they're going with the it's Yochi's brother angle. Which, you know, when when we that first popped up, and, oh my god, it's Yochi's brother, holy crap. And then Chikasaki was like, well, maybe it was really Yochi. It's like, oh. <gasps> That was even better, so now I'm slightly disappointed because I like that other angle better. But this, I mean, this could make more sense for the plot of the game. But uh, at the moment, not really knowing how it's going to go, I feel like Chigasaki's theory was, like, a little more exciting and, like, ooh, interesting. This is like, oh, okay, you're going the tropey route. Okay, sure. All right, fine. Chigasaki had never thrown that suggestion out there, I would have been totally on board with this and been like, ooh, okay, yeah, yeah. But Chigasaki had to go and ruin it. <laughs> By throwing in this wackadoodle theory that's like, oh, crazy theories are more fun. I 
concluded that this was Yochi's older brother. But what would that mean? This drama isn't from the previous stream. It seems to be much older than that. That means this person's already dead. And the thing is... Well, unless not. He doesn't have to be dead, because remember, some people went back to their world. That would be the only explanation for why Iochi remembers their brother, because nobody else seems to remember the people that were here. So that doesn't make sense. Iochi never mentioned it, but I sort of understand why they wouldn't. Especially if your older brother's a sponsor. I remembered my conversation with Chikasaki. Chikasaki, he suspects that Iochi is someone on the same side as the other world stream. The punishment games don't always take arms or legs. They can also take your memory or gender. So it's possible that Hisato Iochi didn't get a dead end since he was a sponsor. Maybe he only lost his gender. And now he's back in Arcadia to get his gender back. And he only changed his name to achieve it. Either that, or this person is actually the producer and changed their name and appearance to keep an eye on us. I can't completely disregard the possibility of them being the producer or sponsor. I remembered it. The conversation I heard in the alley. I mean, that I know is bullshit, but... Oh, that... And there shouldn't be a problem. I will use everything at my disposal. We aren't here to play games. So many things stand out, and Iochi has so many secrets, but... I'm sorry I fell asleep. You just warned me about it yesterday. Oh. Yochi? If we had met back in the original world, I wonder what we would have talked about. Would we talk like this? It seems kind of sudden. Unable to sacrifice, and unable to be alone. There are many things that are still precious. It's tough to always feel so lonely. I had so many theories spinning around in my head. Me too! I feel that! I kept thinking of Yochi's various expressions. Eventually, I found myself on the way to the park. There was something else I needed to see. That's true, though. Okay, so the time we came here with Yochi, right? And the little ice cream dude was like, Oh, I recognize you! Or you look familiar, right? Because... Iochi's, what we're assuming, brother. Because they look similar. And Iochi was like, oh wow, you're really good at recognizing faces now before you couldn't. Huh, you know? Okay, yeah. Um, hello. Hello, have some ice cream. Oh, I'll have ice cream next time. There's something I want to ask. Yes, what is it? I fiddled with my bangle while I stood in front of the ice cream vendor. I showed a captured scream of the drama that I'd watched earlier. Have you ever seen this person before? I showed Hisano Iochi's face while saying that. The ice cream vendor nodded. Oh, I've seen him before. I don't remember from where, though. He's one of the other world stream's previous cast members. He used to be in a drama. Do you remember him? Hmm, I don't know about that. I might have talked with him before. I think he might also be the sponsor. Then I have met him before. I meet sponsors often. I knew it. When I came here previously with Iochi, this Arcadian said that Iochi looked familiar. So I always wondered about that. If their older brother was once a cast member and also a sponsor, he definitely would have met the ice cream vendor. By the way, I've always wondered this, but have you ever met with the producer? Producer? That I haven't. Do you know what kind of person the director is? I don't know. All I know is that there is someone called the producer. Pretty sure the director is a fucking robot. Kind of look like it. Look like he had robot arms under his jacket, you know? I see. Thank you. I did the bare minimum research and returned to the lodging. I was worried about the other things as well, but I had to prepare dinner and organize my thoughts. Think about it while cooking. It's kind of interesting because we just asked and they were like, oh, I meet with the sponsor frequently. So we were like, oh, yeah, who have you been meeting with this time? Would the watcher have popped up and like bashed us in the face? Would that guy have said anything? You know what I mean? Because I feel like that's too much information to give us. But someone tapped my shoulder from behind, Iochi. I turned around and saw Iochi right behind me, of course. 
Hi. Well, let me help. <laughs> I was so surprised I made that strange noise. I wonder why Yochi always appeared out of nowhere whenever I tried thinking about them. Sorry. Did I surprise you? No, not at all. It's completely fine. Wow. You sound so obviously surprised that it's scaring me. It's not that. My in incoherent response was met with a smile as Yochi and I started our meal prep by washing the vegetables. Oh. Hmm? And this is okay to wash, right? I don't know what you're planning on making yet. Um, I'm making... What a food? I, they, say, they make this a lot in games, and I still don't know how to pronounce it. Got it. So I just need to peel these. Oh, I I'll do it myself. I'll help. I'm good at peeling now. But you don't want me to help. It's not that at all. Well, if you don't mind. Such an awkward exchange that I knew Iochi probably felt a bit confused about it, too. And I didn't know what to say. I wonder how Iochi will feel knowing that I was investigating them behind their back. I felt guilty because of everything. And while we were still doing this, I found myself pushing Iochi away. Thought it was our turn on rotation, Sena. Ibana entered the kitchen. Ibana always had a cold demeanor, so I would have avoided talking with him under normal circumstances. But in that moment, I was thankful for it. Yes, but she started cooking alone, so I decided to help. Was I getting in the way? Yes, you're in the way. Appreciate it if you both buzz off. Wow, Ibana. Well, I'll be leaving. But do you mind if I observe? I don't mind about that. Also, Ibana, can you ask Sena here if something happened? Huh? Huh? Why? She's been acting strange since yesterday. I feel like I'm being avoided. Come on, Mom. Did I do something to her? I don't care. And don't call me Mom. Right. I guess you wouldn't know. Listen to me. Why do you even care about that? Just leave her alone. She's not a kid anymore. She'll talk if something happens. Oh my god, Ibana's actually, like, defending me and being reasonable for a moment. In regards to me. I feel like putting my hand against this. Like, sweetie, do you have a fever? Oh my god, Ibana's dying, guys! <laughs> the music I really love for a second. Hold on. Oh, well, I know, but... Why am I listening to this conversation? Uh, I was hoping that Mom would do something about it. Shh, don't pull on my arm. Fine. Hey, Sina, are you avoiding Iochi? Huh? I'm not! Your eyes are wandering. Answer me. If you aren't avoiding them, then Iochi, you figure it out. This is all really annoying for me. Ah, oh, you're terrible for calling me annoying, Ibana. This is exactly what I mean. Okay, I'll talk. Um, Iochi, can we talk after dinner? Yes, anytime. You can start right now if you want. It's irritating how happy you sound. Going on. Sounds like fun. Damn, this is so annoying. Stop gathering around me. I think we need to have a group hug with Ibana in the middle. <laughs> well, I'll make myself scarce then. See you later, Sena. And there they go. I thought you were just watching. Do you just want to talk to Sena too? I talk with Big Sis, too. What were you talking about? Something important. Something about avoiding someone or not avoiding them. It's all so dumb. Um, I found myself not working at all. I wanted to be alone so that I could think, but I felt like there wasn't time for it. I wondered if I'd make up my mind before talking to Iochi. Um, the two of you... Huh? I do you believe in Iochi. I mean by that? Um, well... Yochi's the team leader and also the oldest here, so I wondered if you two trust them. How would it really be to trust someone? They don't dislike Yochi. What about you, Ibana? Ibana doesn't like anyone. Why are you even asking? If I say I trust Yochi, will you trust them too? Who cares what any other person here thinks? Well, that's true. I mean, Ibana's not wrong. Who cares what other people think? You know what I mean? I mean, I guess within reason, because if everybody's like, Oh my god, no! Everyone on the planet is telling you no! Maybe you should just take that as a warning. But you know what I mean? Like, But like, I like him, I don't like him. Oh gosh, one person likes him and one person doesn't. So 
shit, what am I going to do now? Hmm. Make up your own fucking mind. So, Ibana's not wrong in that case. Mrs. Zeno, what about you? Do you trust them? Do you want to trust them? Huh? I haven't trusted anyone from the start. What idiot would be willingly fooled when there's a traitor among us? Oh, Abana, I don't want to be tricked, so you won't trust anyone. Exist doesn't want to be tricked either, so you are you also not going to trust anyone? Trust everyone anyway. A difficult choice. And these thought processes coming out of, quote-unquote, the 12-year-old. Again, this is why I'm calling bullshit. It, there's the third choice of simply not knowing. That's me. That's all you ever say. We didn't talk anymore and just prepared dinner. I don't trust, so I won't be tricked. Or choose to trust even if I am tricked. What should I do? Have I been gathering evidence and information regarding Iochi because I don't want to be tricked? This route's certainly interesting. Everyone gathered in the living room to chat after dinner, so Iochi and I talked when everyone left. It was late at night by then. I do kind of feel bad, though, because if, like, Iochi's here... Whatever reasoning, but I do feel like... It would be, like, a spy thing, whatever, trying to find their brother or whatnot. I kind of feel like... Their whole quest is not going to be resolved by the end of this route. It's going to be like, we never figured out who the sponsor and the producer were, but blah, 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 something happened. Or, you know, everything... We never figured out who they were, but the whole project got shut down or something... Because spy Iochi or whatnot. But I feel like that's not going to be good enough for Iochi. You know what I mean? Like, they'd be out there like, uh, I never found my brother. Or I never got the full answers. And they seem very much like the person that likes to have that information. So, like, it'll be kind of unsatisfactory. There's really no other way they can do it without ruining the whole game. You know? But I just feel like that wouldn't won't be totally satisfactory. And, you know, Iochi will probably do the... It's all right, because whatever, but it's probably not going to be all right. It's going to take a long time to get past the fact that got everyone out and the, the other world stream stopped, maybe, whatever. Say that's the ending, but Iochi never got the answers they wanted. You know? Not fully resolved, and I don't know if they'd be satisfied with that, so... I'm sure the game will try to wrap it up in a neat little blow, bow, like, yo, she's totally satisfied and everything's great, but you have to think that that wouldn't really be the case. Okay, then go ahead. There was a drink in front of me. It was made with fruit and milk, and it was garnished with two goji berries and mint. I stared blankly at Iochi as they continued talking. Why didn't I say that I'd make any non-alcoholic cocktail for you one of these days? Make a non-alcoholic cocktail for you. Sorry. Oh, so you made this for me? Yeah, try it. I hope you like it. There's sleeping potion in here, because every time we're around him, we fall asleep. Um, there was also a small spoon, so I drank it while scooping up the fruit. It's delicious. The glass was filled with an apple-flavored soda mixed with mint, and it was for f and it was refreshing. Perfect for summer. Okay, um, um, okay. Made with fruit and milk. But now this is apple-flavored soda and mint. Is it fruit and milk? Or is it soda and mint? It did say mint on the other part, but it said milk. And then it's like apple-flavored soda. Ew, and milk? So these are like two different drinks. Pick a lane. Which one is it? Anyway. It tastes hints of mango and peach, and the floating milky pieces were almond jelly. Oh, gross. Like a soda with milky j Ew, that sounds horrible. Boba tea with like the little fucking tapioca ball. Ugh, um, no. Okay, I don't like... Like, jello pudding kind of stuff, fine. But I'm still not like... Like, pudding and stuff like that or yogurt is fine. But like jello, like the jiggly gelatin jello. Or like mochi or anything that's like... Like, no. I don't mind like... Gummy bears and stuff. Oh, th those are gross. I don't mind like Sour Patch Kids because they're like the chewy or kind of thing, but they've got the sour on them. And they're generally a lot harder than the squishy, jiggly kind of. But like, there's something about that texture that I just can't. I'm like, no. And then it's like, I'm going to put these little balls of that gooey sh in your drink. Oh, no, get it out of here. It's disgusting. Ugh. No. <laughs> I 
don't like it. I don't. Hmm. Anyway. The sweet fruit and stimulating soda came together perfectly. I wanted to drink it all night. I heard that you like sweet, so I made it sweeter than usual. So what do you think? I love it. It tastes more like a dessert than a drink. <laughs> it does. The cocktails are made by mixing things together so you can enjoy the liquor more. It's more about finding new combinations of flavors than anything else. And that's why it's kind of like a dessert that you enjoy after a meal. You see, it all made sense to me, so I nodded along before emptying the glass. I was amazed at how quickly I was able to finish it. Sometimes all you have to do is pop open that bottle of peanut butter whiskey, pour it over ice, and it's perfect the way it is, and you don't have to mix and figure out flavors. Is it good mixed with cranberry juice to make like a peanut butter and jelly? Absolutely. Is it great on its own? Fuck yes. <laughs> it was so delicious that I finished it too fast. <laughs> I'm glad you like it so much. I'd honestly been starting to think that you hated me. Yet she sat down next to me and spoke softly. So, tell me what you don't like about me. Why have you been avoiding me lately? I didn't like that. We didn't do anything, Iochi. Really? Oh, I get it. Is it because I didn't do anything? Huh? Should I have made a move earlier? Iochi lifted my chin, and while saying that, it was gent- Oh, lifted my chin while saying that. It was gentle, and our gazes were fixed on each other's, so it was embarrassing. What makes you think that? <laughs> it was a joke. I'm just glad we can talk like we normally do. You know, she laughed as usual re while re retracting their hand. Oh. I was relieved to know it was a joke, but I also felt disappointed at the same time. I can feel this. Like, I'm disappointed because I wanted you to be serious. But I'm glad you're joking because if you were serious, I don't know how the fuck I would have reacted. Because I don't know how to deal with this. Yeah, valid. <laughs> it was a familiar feeling. It was like when Iochi and I bumped our foreheads together. I wouldn't have minded if Iochi was serious. I tried to organize the information objectively. I could have talked to someone else and come up with a conclusion. However, I always put it off and ended up hesitating. Now I think I knew why. There's something I want to ask you, Iochi. Is that okay? So you're worried about something. Then go right ahead. Is it okay to ask here? What if there are others around? It's already late, so I'm sure it's fine. And if someone else hears it... If you already know, everyone will find out eventually, and it won't matter. Yochi sounded like they already knew what I was going to say, so I decided to ask. Yesterday, when you were out doing something, I decided to go out too. I visited that alley, the one filled with shops and stuff, so that I could explore places that I don't usually go to. Huh, I see. While I was there, I heard a voice in a building. It was your voice, Iochi. I couldn't hear who you were talking to, but it sounded like you were talking with someone. I see. So you heard the conversation and it made you suspicious of me. Suspicious? It's more like... Eavesdropping isn't good. S sorry. What? What? Don't apologize. You're like, it was an accident. Although then I did continue, but also you're being shady, so let's not... Turn the tables on me here fully. Well, I'm also at fault for choosing to talk where someone else could overhear me. By the way, how much did you hear? It didn't make sense to me, so I don't really remember. You were talking about losing something. You mentioned using whatever's at your disposal, and that you aren't here to play games. And something about scheduling. And they could have been anything. And no wonder you've been avoiding me lately. Um, yeah, I'm sure you want all the details. Sure. Well, where should I start? Then... Oh my god, we have choices. Do, they, do these matter? Oh god, I don't... Well, no, actually, they don't, because we only have one ending. So, but I'm wondering if we get to talk, get both of them, you know what I mean? So, what are you taking advantage of? Who were you talking to? I'm curious about both of them. What am I more curious, just in case we can't come back? Who were you talking to? What are you taking advantage of? A 
Let's just go with who are you talking to and hope we get both of them. Who are you talking to? It was another cast member, right? Right. He's a collaborator of mine. And that's why we were talking like that. But I can't tell you who it is. It's not that I can't tell you personally. I can't tell anyone. All the more reason, because you heard that conversation. See, it sounds exactly like what I thought. Iochi's here to try to take this place down. But, okay, so the person they were talking to is someone who's also here trying to take it down. So that makes sense. Okay. Possibly, but I feel like that fits at least. Oh, really? I'm sorry, but please keep this a secret. I think of it as a favor. I decided to ask another question. Chigasaki had mentioned something, so I decided to ask about it since it was bothering me. It was all I could think of. I don't think it's true, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Sure. Yochi. Oh, I don't like either one of these. I wanted to know, like, you weren't here before, that kind of thing. I guess we'll do the you're not the sponsor, are you? I don't think he's the producer or the sponsor, you know what I mean? But... Although, they do make him seem really sus here, if you hadn't picked up on anything else or had any suspicions, because they definitely have the, like, the person that you think is Iochi's brother, probably is, was the sponsor, and now Iochi's over there, like, talking about how they have a collaborator and the producer and the sponsor would collaborate together, you know what I mean? So it does look sus, but, alright. Ooh, what was that? Why did we get extra points for that? What was that? Not that it matters, but we just got like there was a little, but that didn't happen. The last question we asked, <gasps> we should have asked, what were you taking advantage of? Damn it! We could always go back and ask both questions to be fair. Cause like, it doesn't make a difference, but whatever. You're not the sponsor. Are you the sponsor? You mean the sponsor who works for the producer by transporting goods and supplies? Impossible. Oh, what made you think that in the first place? Well, someone brought it up. What do I do? If I bring up Chikasaki's name, it sounds like I'm just blaming someone else. No, well, let me tell you something. Iochi didn't tell you who they're working with. You don't have to tell him or them who you're working with. You don't have to share that information. You can be like, someone told me. I'm not going to name names because you can't name names. But talk about the and then talk about the drama with potential brother. If you don't want to say, that's fine. It's not a major issue anyway. But never mind that. I'm offended by the fact that I'm even being suspected of being on the side of the other world's stream. I mean, I'm offended that we asked that question, too. R right. Sorry. Well, I suppose I'm at fault for keeping quiet about these things. They did lead you to your conclusions at the end of the day. What do you want to know? What you want to know most is who I am and why I'm here, right? I nodded without hesitation. It was true that figuring that out would make me feel much more at ease. And then I'll tell you about me. I can't tell you absolutely everything, though. I actually came here looking for someone. Well, to be exact, I'm looking for clues on a particular person. See, I told you. Brother. Okay, makes sense. Clues about a person. I wondered if Iochi was talking about their brother, but I didn't say anything. I honestly only wanted to verify the facts. However, the more I learned, the deeper the rabbit hole went. I thought I'd be the only one who could solve this. And that might be the reason my memory is intact. Your memory? And that has to do with something else. Anyway. Okay, that's a good point. Because what did I say? Like, if it's Yochi's brother, why is their memory of their brother still intact when everybody else forgets anyone that was here? And that didn't make sense. But now they just put it back in. So they, they didn't leave that as a loophole in the game where you're like, that doesn't make sense. Yochi specifically mentions, well, my memory is intact and that has to do with something else that we won't figure out maybe in Yochi's route or not till later, but okay. So at least they're covering their asses here. Props for that. What you heard yesterday was a conversation between me and a friend who's currently helping me. I can't give you any names, but they're definitely on our side. You can rest assured about that. Who have you been close to? I don't know if we've seen Iochi be close to really anyone. Which side? And they aren't the sponsor or the producer, and neither am I. Yeah. The thing is, 
I can't tell you who he is, because if something were to happen to me, he would have to take over for me. If I get a dead end, or I can't move because the other world stream started to suspect me, he'll come to help you. That's... I was certain that Iochi had said that to reassure me, but it only made me worry even more. Iochi dies or is unable to move. Um, is that okay for you to mention? What if the producer's listening? It's fine. I'm sure they already know about my activities antagonizing the other world stream. And I can only assume they brought me here knowingly. I wasn't quite sure what that meant. Iochi continued talking. Anyways, I've come here with a specific goal in mind. And you already know this, but I want to stop the Otherworld stream because they're behind all of this. If possible, I want to save everyone who's died up until now. And that's my motivation. How can you save everyone who's died? Unless they're not really actually dead? Is that what you're trying to say? Interesting. Well, that would be interesting. In order to achieve my goal, I'm willing to pay any price. Unless it's like, save them because it's not fair that they were taken away all their memory, like, from everyone's memory that ever knew them. So, like, you know what I mean? Anyway. I noticed that Iochi was looking out into the distance. I knew then that if I couldn't believe in them after hearing those words and seeing that expression, then I wouldn't know what to believe in anymore. That's how sincere it all felt. I understand. Thank you for telling me. Is it good enough for you? I thought you might have more things you want to know. I like my sex, for one. No, that's fine. I realize that your conviction is what's important. I can tell that just by looking at you. Conviction. Yochi, you're always kind to me, so I don't know how close I should get to you. Someone just said something to me, and I started out my doubts about you being part of the Otherworld stream. I felt like I had to keep my distance from you because of how much I was doubting you. But in the end, I still wanted to believe in you, and I didn't care even if you had lied to me. That's why I've decided to simply believe in you. If I ever hesitate or become confused, I will follow your lead, and I hope you'll continue to be with me. I know that I can believe in you, so I hope that you'll continue to guide me. Well, I know you've been quiet the entire time. It started to squint like something was bothering them. But it was just for a brief moment, and it turned into the usual smile right away. If you follow me around with zero doubts like that, I might just eat you up when you least expect it. Um, why do you think I keep following you around? Jesus. I thought it was the usual joking, but I couldn't bring myself to brush it off this time. I know why I feel this way. Honestly, I don't mind if you eat me up. Girl, all of a sudden got some stones! Shit, what? Listen, she might be derpy and a little stupid sometimes, and way too goody two-shoes, but I'm gonna give her points for this, like, I don't care if you do. Oh! The balls! Shit! Proud of you. Huh? Even if I want to doubt you, I can't. You're so special to me that I don't even care if you trick me. I mean, okay, that's... That's... That's a little dumb. But anyway, we've all made that mistake in our lives, especially playing Atome games. Like, you know, you might just stab me, but 10 out of 10 would let you throw me off a building or stab me again. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. So I can't really blame her for this. Although in the context of reality, this is probably stupid, but eh, you know, I'm here for it. If he stabs me in the back, I'll be like, oh, worth it. We like trash. I don't think Iochi's trash at all. Like, so I don't think there's anything wrong with her saying this aside from just the obvious of like, God, don't say that to people actually. <laughs> like problematic in reality. In Atome games, 100% we've all done this multiple times. Knowingly. The Ochi you see yourself as, and the person who I see might be completely different people. But in spite of that, you're still a wonderful person, and I want to be with you more to talk with you. Yochi, no matter your gender, I think I... <gasps> oh! Oh, stop! Look at this beautiful little CG. I like... She actually looks really cute in this. And a little awkward and blushy, and like, you know, she's just gorgeous. Hmm. I can't listen to the rest of that. Keep that in your heart. Why? You don't have to answer me, I just... Even so, I have no right to listen to that. Not right now, at least. 
I like how you know exactly what I was going to say. I think you're swell. What? I just think you're swell. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Come on. That was absolutely a confession. And do I just not say it now? I'll tell you any time. I'll wait until you're willing to listen, Iochi. Are you being serious? Oh. And then let's put that on hold for now. Really? I don't mind putting it on hold as long as you're willing to listen someday. <laughs> Fine. I have things to do now, so I hope you'll wait. That's kind of actually adorable. And like, as like much as you're like, God damn it, why you should have just kissed me right now instead of this. I can kind of mad respect. Because Iochi's got a fucking mission. They're on a mission. And like, here we are with the like, I like you. He's like, ah! Uh, maybe don't say that yet because I'm not ready to hear that because I got a mission and that weighing on me not going to be good. You know what I mean? And like, because you have to think from Iochi's perspective, someone's about to confess to you, but you are like on this, like I'm on a mission. And like, even if I'm, I think that like, you know, we got a bond here. This is great. That's not getting in my way. But if you confess to me and tell me you like me, that is going to, put a burden on me that I'm not ready to deal with at the moment when I have a one track mind to finish this mission. I can't let that get in the way, but I know what you're going to say, but it's different. You know what I mean? It, it's totally different. If you're like, I 100% know someone is going to tell me whatever it is. It could be a good or bad. They love you. Someone died, whatever, you know, you know, but it's different when those words come out of their mouth. You know what I mean? It's fucking different. It, and, and, it, and it's like, because it's real then. Because you can always say like, I think they were going to tell me they like me. Ah, I must be crazy. But the second they say it, it's like, fuck, now it's real. And then like, you're going to question everything that you're doing. And Iochi doesn't need that on their shoulders right now. So I kind of like mad respect for them being like, hold that thought. Also, it's like, god damn you game. You're gonna make me angstier, and I kind of like that. Good job, game. Me the angst. Because we're not being rejected. We're being put on hold. Which is kind of like, you know we're not gonna get rejected, for God's sakes, okay? But it's still like, but what if? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway. Well, that is, if you still feel the same way, then. Right. I know that you have your own goals here, so I'm sorry for saying things that might interfere with them. I will do my best as your assistant until everything's done. <laughs> You're always so positive. I rarely get caught off guard like this. I'm sorry. Seems like I've troubled you. And that's not what I meant. Maybe, just maybe, if you're hesitating enough for you to seriously consider it, nothing would make me happier. I want to be like you, Iochi. I don't think that I'd ever be half as good, but I don't mind if I'm even a tenth as good as you. However, if you ever hesitate, I hope to work hard so that I can lead you. Thank you. Iochi quietly looked out the window. It's getting late, so how about you sleep for today? We can talk again if something happens. Sure, it's a promise then. Yeah, I'll walk you back to your room, my lady. My lady? When I hold my hand like this, it makes me want to say that. <laughs> Yochi's hand was held out to me as I stood back up, and they and they just smiled. Oh my god, it's that goddamn fucking discotheque music that's loud as shit. I mean, the volume's turned down so low, but it's like, that still comes out seemingly loud. But every other bit of music is like non-existent then. It's like, there's no good balance here. Let's resume this tomorrow, Sena. Yes, um, what is it? Do you have more questions for me? Yochi, you think that I'm just lonely? Do you feel sorry for me? Well, Yochi's eyes wandered while smiling, and their gaze stopped over me. I hope you forget this tomorrow. Then it's like everything was just a dream. Yochi's face came closer and- Oh my god, are you gonna kiss me? I'll show you what it feels like to be lonely. Their lips touched my cheek. Why did we not get a CG of that? <laughs> See, you're wide open. Well, good night. What? 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 
<laughs> Literally me and say, what? Whoa, 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 no CG? What the fuck? Okay, her internal monologue, except for the CG part. Um, I thought we were going to revisit this. You know, she said they have something to do, and they're going to hear me out once that's done. They never said they'd accept my feelings. I didn't directly state that I have feelings, but it should have been obvious from my attitude. Kissing me on the cheek just now. Is it okay for me to expect more from this? I like how she's actually surprisingly for the embar as, as embarrassed as she was before about things. It wasn't too over the top. You know, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It was a normal level of embarrassment. And like, embarrassing in situations where you're like, yeah, okay, I can see that. She's handling this pretty fucking well. Like, oh my god, I'm a little angsty and freaking out over here. But you would be too, you know what I mean? Like... Oh my god, I told him that I liked him and he's like an older guy. I'm like, oh my god, especially if you're 16. I'm like, I would probably be like this to any, even at my age. Just because like, this relationships are fucking difficult, man. And I don't know how to deal with people. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm actually kind of proud of them for not being, oh my god, he looked, oh my god. Like, she's getting embarrassed and awkward in the right spots. But saying stupid shit sometimes and being a little too naive. But... You know, aside from that, again, I think that's the writers not making it clear what she's trying to say when she says words. And then it comes out later and you're like, okay, well, see, that's where you should have said that straight up. You know, like the whole sacrifice thing. It's like, you don't mean people. Okay, fine. But being a little too idealistic and like innocent, it, it's problematic, but it's more like frustrating. Like, girl, you're in a life or death situation. You're going to have to like, you know. And, uh, and to be fair, she hasn't, she only was put in that one situation with hygiene. She refused to do it. She got penalized for it. And then she was like, she, but she didn't even doubt or question or think maybe I should, maybe I should. And I would have liked to have seen that, like having an actual human response on a goody two shoes. No, I'll never do it. I'll just suffer and die. Stupid. But then it was never brought up again. So like, I just have a problem if it's going to be brought up and she's always going to be a goody two shoes and not actually have those human Oh my god, I did it, and I feel, like, awful, even though Haiji was like, it's totally cool and I want you to do it, but I feel like shit about myself. You know? Oh, anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got the fucking... drift thing on my... I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, but then my, uh, little Joy-Con drift has it, but whatever. But, but, last time I got a kiss on the forehead, ugh, I just don't know! Should I be in the same boat? What does this mean? Never sleep again. I gave up thinking about it. I wouldn't go crazy in my mind. I decided to go to sleep. Wouldn't be able to sleep. I'd been worried since the day before, so I chose to let it all go and get some rest. Ugh. Chose to do something. Look at that. She made a decision. <laughs> I'd be with Yochi once more in the morning. It was all I could think about as I fell asleep. I mean, that's true. I was going to make fun. Like, how the fuck could you sleep through that? Right. Never mind. She falls asleep all the time. She's narcoleptic. It's fine. <sighs> it was Ivana's turn to make breakfast. So after I got ready, I took my time to head downstairs. Most people had already finished eating. So I was the last one to sit down. Good morning, sis. Good morning, Haiji. Took you long enough to wake up. It was already cold. Sorry. Your cooking, looks your cooking looks delicious today, Ivana. Uh-huh. So motherly. Good morning, Sena. Oh, uh, good morning. <laughs> I'm glad you look well. As for today, I can't spend my morning in my room. Can we start... I want to spend my morning in my room. Can we start in the afternoon? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you res aren't you researching something? If you are, I can help. I know. But to be honest, I didn't sleep well, so I wanted to take a break. Oh. My. God. Were you up late either conspiring with your partner? I, but I mean, I, that's probably, maybe, but I want to be like, you were up late and you couldn't sleep because you were thinking about the fact that I have feelings for you and it kept you awake! Thank God, somebody else was kept awake tossing and turning over this! It wasn't just me! I like that we got under your skin. We got in your head. Ooh! I'm hoping for that anyway. I'm just going to assume. You didn't sleep well? That's rare. I was thinking of you and couldn't sleep all night. 
It was terrible. Huh? What kind of sick joke are you playing this early? Hurry up and eat. Oh, that's terrible. It's not a joke. I like the fact that they just come out and say that. Well, I'll be off then. Oh, me too. I'm going to bed. Good night, all. Wait, you still have cleaning to do. Hey, don't sleep. Just do it in his place. Hey, we finally see those two, because they have not been around for, like, hours. We all went our different ways that morning. My doubts had lifted, and the breakfast seemed to taste better than usual. Goodness, all that's left is for me to wait for Ryochi to accomplish their goal. I should work towards getting us back to our world. By the time I finished eating, there was no one left in the living room. Chikasaki was the only one who talked to me. Dina, good morning. Hey, Chikasaki, good morning. Look refreshed. Did you decide to just believe in Iochi? He spoke in a quieter tone, and I gasped a little before nodding. I'm sorry. I know you warned me about it, so I tried to look into it myself. No, it's all right. That's fine. It wasn't my intention, either. He smiled gently at me, and I couldn't say anything else. Not his intention? The food looks delicious today. Ibana is such a great cook. Chikasaki, aren't you going to eat? I don't usually eat breakfast. The alarm sounded as we spoke, and both of us jumped in surprise. A drama. It's rare for there to be one this early. Oh, it's a drama that I'm going to be in. I'm not done eating yet! I checked my bangle for details, and a doubt surfaced in my mind. Stream status. Drama starts in three minutes. Stream content. Younger Girlfriend Episode 12. Genre. Romance drama. Ooh! They're really, really... I mean, I guess there's probably other ones happening, but it's nice that, like... The drama we're in with our boyfriend character is always the one that comes up. Ask Kurata, Mizuki Yochi, Serena, oh, Serena, Spacey Sena, Yurika, Yukikawa, Yukikawa, Tomose Banjo. <gasps> Tomose's in it. Huh? Something wrong. I thought that a drama's episodes were scheduled a week apart. Sometimes, however, the gap is shorter, but there's still usually about five days between them. Five days. I guess it's not that unusual. I'm only thinking about it because we just did this drama four days ago. Oh. That is a bit sooner than usual. The alarm sounded, so it was almost time to start. I was partway through the script when my surroundings changed. Oh my god, they know that... I wonder if they did this early because they know Iochi's on to shit. So they're gonna have, like, Tomose do something to them. You know what I mean? I was at a location with lots of shops, and Tomose was already there. Oh, Tomose! What do you intend to do? Huh? Don't give me that! Didn't you read the script? Oh, I only read part of it. Then hurry up and read it! He hurried me, and it sounded like a threat, so I quickly read the, s the rest of the script. Are we gonna have to kiss Iochi? Or is it gonna be we have to kill him? Then I grew even paler than Tomose. But this... The last scene where Iochi will stab you can't be avoided. What are you going to do? Are you going to refuse to act again? They're making Iochi stab... You know Iochi's going to fucking do it. That's going to put a damper on a relationship. The script said that Kurata stabs Serena with a knife. Well, it's only a drama. The pain is just as real. Oh... I was dizzy with fear. I knew that Iochi wouldn't refuse. Yeah. Iochi has to do something. There was no way Iochi would choose to receive a punishment game here. And I... I don't want to get in the way. That was it. I felt like I'd made up my mind. I'd believe in Iochi and I... And I want... I'd believe in Iochi and I wanting to be together. I was going to put in the effort to achieve that. I wanted to stay by Iochi's side to watch them pursue what they saw as right. It's all right. I can act this out. What? Are you sure you're not just saying that? Yeah. By being with Iochi, I understand what I have to do in this world. I can't keep running away. I have to stand by whatever I think is right. That's why I can do this. I can withstand pain. So will you act this part out with me, Tomose? If you insist. He looks kind of proud of you right now. It's kind of cute. You. 
I feel reassured that you're with me. No, if only I could take your place. Huh? I don't ever want to see you get stabbed, Tomose. And the script calls for this, so it can't be helped. Hopefully, Yochi stabs you in a way that makes it hurt the least. <laughs> that would be difficult. You could stab, but like, kind of stab off to the side. You know what I mean? It would still hurt, though, but it would hurt less than stabbing an organ by accident. Like, fuck, I stabbed you in the liver. That's gonna hurt more than just, ow! I got a little fat, so it'd be easier to stab me, I guess. I was speaking with Tomose when the story began. It started with Tomose and me walking together. Oof. I was like, at least Iochi has to stab us. Serena's teared, uh, tears allowed her and Kurata to make up. However, on that day, Serena happened to go shopping with Yukikawa. Kurata, upon seeing that... Why do I have to go with you? If you're busy, just say no. I can't say no. The teacher asked me to. Come on, Yukikawa. Why couldn't you go alone? I'm sure that Kurata is fuming. Huh? Kurata? That's my boyfriend's name. I turned down a date to come here today, so you better thank me for it. Wow, you're so annoying. I would have preferred it if you would have just gone on your damn date. Hey, why are you being like that? Serena. I thought that I was prepared for it, but I flinched when Iochi appeared in front of me. Their expression was lifeless, which made it scarier, really because he looks mad. K Kurata. Why are you here? You said you had to do something for school. Um, that's... Ugh. You have a much older boyfriend, huh? Wow. And that's surprising. I do like the fact that they're a younger girlfriend is the drama, and, like, that's basically, like, paralleling our... Like, you know that, like... I can't wait to see the titles of the other romance dramas we're in with our other boyfriends, you know? You be quiet. Serena, come with me. Huh? Hey, wait! Ow! You're hurting me! I said, come with me. But, but this is for school! I just told you to come with me. Can't you do just what I say? Can't you just do what I say? Sorry. Serena was forced by Karada to go with him. Just as the script described, I was taken by Yochi into an alleyway. I looked at Yochi's back as they stared up in silence, and I read the rest of my lines. Look, I think you have it all wrong. That was just a classmate, and I wasn't with him because I wanted to be. Enough! And there's no need to say anything. I shivered when I saw that face. What made things even scarier was the lack of emotion in their voice. Like Yochi has to turn themselves off in order to be able to stab someone that they actually care about. I knew what was coming next, so I was filled with fear. Karada, that's the truth. I was just, you know, though, knowing that he's about to stab you and it's not fake. Sorry, they. Good God, I'm doing my best here. But, like, knowing what's about to happen, they're like, I'm filled with fear. I mean, yeah. It's legit fear. You're doing a great job because, like, in a in a normal acting drama, someone's about to stab you. You know it's fake. You're just trying to pretend you're afraid and, like, whatever. But this is real. You're going to get stabbed. So, like, so the fear is real. Like, I mean, I think you should get extra points for the drama on this one. It's fine. I'm not here to listen to that. I... I just want you to be quiet. Murata spoke quietly as they removed the small knife from their pocket and opened it. And before I had time to be surprised, I... was stabbed. I was so surprised that I couldn't scream. In fact, I couldn't breathe. It was both pain and surprise. <laughs> I'm not deep enough. And this won't be fatal. Sorry, Serena. I have to do it again. I didn't have the energy to look at Iochi. I was stabbed twice in the stomach, and all I could feel was a searing pain. It felt like all the blood in my body was rushing to that wound and flooding out. I wouldn't stop bleeding. <sighs> it hurt me so much. I wanted to pull the knife out and be released from my pain. I... It's sort of traumatizing that Iochi does... Actually, you know what's funny? I didn't actually expect Iochi to be the one to fucking stab me. Did not expect you to be the stabby one. Sure, it's for the drama, but also you stabbed me. 
And you totally seem okay with it. <laughs> like, huh. Wait. Okay, yeah, all right. Again, out of all of them was not Iochi wouldn't have picked. Yeah, flirty little whore. Okay, but not the stabby one. But you are the one that pinned me against the wall. So, like, interesting, though. Interesting. I was not expecting you to be the stabby one. It, 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 it just it just slapped me in the face right now. Like, wait, 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 wait. I know this is for a drama, but shit. Wait. <laughs> but I'm not sure if it's better or worse that Iochi, like, has no emotion doing it. Like, is that better because Iochi turned themselves off so that they could stab us and do what they had to do? Or does that make it worse because there's not even a little hint of, like, sorry, I don't want to do this, as he stabs you, you know what I mean? Anyway. I couldn't think anymore, and all that I could do was cough. And now, you belong to me. At that moment, I was finally able to see Iochi's face. Iochi looked to be in pain. But that was only for a brief moment. Okay, that's actually a nice touch. Like the, I didn't want to do this for a split second. And there's no need to say anything. And there's no need to do anything. You just need to be with me. I will protect you. And Karada, Yochi, gently embraced me. <clears throat> it was a gentle and loving embrace. However, it hurt so much that I didn't care. If hesitating means losing you, I won't hesitate anymore. I'm sure you'll understand, Serena. Yochi's line ended there. That was it for the script. But I feel so cold. Oh my god, the screen keeps getting darker and darker as she's slowly dying. Damn. I was shivering and it felt like my consciousness was fading. I wondered if that was what it was like to die. It was the last thought I had. Like, they obviously know because of your bangle. Like, ding, ding, ding. oh, get him out! I felt like I'd been in darkness for a long time. I thought I was looking for something. I wandered about. Was it on the right? Left? Or ahead? I walked around to look, but I couldn't find anything. There was nothing but darkness. Weird. I thought I'd be able to find it right away. Just as I kept walking, I felt a sudden shiver. Why do I feel cold? It's so cold and I can't find what I'm looking for. What am I doing? I put my arms around myself and looked down. Oh. There was a hole there. My stomach is gone. My stomach. I jumped up awake. Suddenly all I could see was light. Hey, hey! I wasn't in the darkness, but in my room. I broke out into a sweat when, reali when I realized that. <sighs> Suddenly, I struggled to breathe, and I touched my stomach area. It's there. My stomach was just as if nothing had happened. It wasn't hot to the touch, and it didn't hurt. Is that all a dream? I wondered if that were possible. You weren't dreaming. You were stabbed by Yochi. Oh, right. Well, that really did happen. I felt confused. I really did get stabbed during a drama, but I just dreamt the gaping hole in my stomach. I felt like I was finally able to understand it all. Did the drama end okay? Yeah. You should have gotten lots of points from that. It was a good act, so it's to be expected. Well, I mean, I'm really good at acting like I'm in pain when someone actually fucking stabs me, so go fig. Or being afraid, knowing that I'm gonna get stabbed. Oh. That's good. I tried to get up from bed when Tomose shook his head at me. Go back to bed. You've been unconscious since the drama ended. Oh, really? It hurt a lot, but it's okay. The injuries are better now. Wait, is that really the problem here? And where do you think you're going? I wanted to go meet Iochi. I'm sure Iochi was bothered by that drama. You crazy! How can you see them again after what just happened? Is it... Is it your choice, Tomose? That was just a drama. Iochi only followed the script, just like you when you kissed me against my will. I feel like kissing me against my will was a little less severe than stabbing me, but still. Then what a great thespian they are. I didn't think they would stab you without hesitation like that. But, Mose, don't you think you would have acted things out if you had to be- if you had to have been in Iochi's position? Whatever. I would have, I think. Then it's the same. It's wrong to blame Iochi for it. 
I wouldn't have been ruthless, though. I would have at least hesitated a bit. Or I would have changed where I would have stabbed you. Okay, but Iochi followed the script exactly, and we got lots of points, right? That's... true. But they would have come to see you if they felt worried about what happened at all. Iochi hasn't been here once since the drama ended. I carried your unconscious body from the living room up to your room, and a lot of time has passed. That is kind of sad. Maybe Yochi's just in shock. Maybe they feel awkward. That's valid. It does, I mean, I like that she's standing up for Yochi in this situation because I could believe this as well. But I think they want you to be like, oh my god, he's such an uncaring asshole. I'm sorry, they. Well, you know, because they didn't come, they didn't do anything, you know what I mean? But I also feel like with Iochi, me, and Tomose, Tomose probably definitely would have jumped and picked you up before Iochi had even had a second to act. You know what I mean? And, but I do feel like Iochi being in shock, feeling awkward or not right, like, you know. And again, also trying to kind of keep things on lockdown because they have a mission type of a thing, so. Come on. Felt a bit desperate. The more Tomose talked about it, the more I wanted to protest. No, I'm right. No, she had no choice but to stab me. It was the only thing to do. Otherwise, even more painful. I was thankful that Tomose didn't pursue the matter any longer. I felt so suffocating that I couldn't speak. I had trouble breathing. I didn't know why, but it hurt me even more than having a gaping hole in my stomach. I couldn't help but feel that way. In that moment... My vision suddenly went dark again. Oh. We're stopping here. My vision went dark because we got sucked out. We're in our weird little, what I thought was our, like, virtual reality pods that we're in or whatever. But we're wherever we are. Anyway, we'll figure what that out is in the next part. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.